Shawarma poutine. Tender lettuce, tomatoes, onions, green olives. Let me know if you do turnips, pickles, parsley, and hot peppers. But these are extra toppings that cost money. And then you got a hot uh, sauce level. I went mild. Because it goes all the way up to suicide. Not good. Alright guys, this is Brianna and she's gonna make my falafel. Uh, I think tomatoes, onions. I guess I should have said lettuce first, but. You want lettuce? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. And then uh, green uh, olives, please. Yeah, and the mild hot sauce. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, got my falafel and Brianna was awesome. Let me. Uh, friend of Ben's, so she says, well, I saw you with the camera, and I said, do you want to be in the video? And she's like, sure, why not? So, Brian is in the video. Brian said, hi, Ben. Hey, guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. I'm in the very snowy town of Bradford, Ontario, Canada, at a brand new Osmos right here in Bradford, if you didn't hear me correctly the first time, they've been here for about two months. Uh, I was just in town and I was driving through, saw the Osmos sign and I'm like, they weren't there before, somebody else was there. But Osmos is finally closer to my house than, than Newmarket. So get out the steering wheel tray, get that all ready. So I wanted to try uh, their falafel. I've tried falafels in other places, but I've never tried Osmos falafel. They're falafel people. They've got this really nice menu card when you go in, very colorful. And uh, I went for the uh, falafel and I went for the small one and it's six, six dollars and 20 cents. Uh, if you want to go large, it's nine dollars and 20 cents. And uh, it's vegetarian. They put little symbols beside the food so you know so it says egg free and vegetarian i didn't get anything to drink because i still like have a half of water sitting in my car almost frozen Ooh. oh and so i did the wrap i guess you can do it as a sandwich as a wrap two points for ken all right guys oh it smells so good oh, check it out scratch it sniff it the rest is going to be mine. All right, I'm getting my water open. Get my water ready. Okay, uh, I had to push it up from the bottom. There we go. Okay, these things sometimes start leaking at the bottom. All right, guys. So here we go for a big bite of the falafel, can style with the medium spice. Mmm. Mmm. Check that out. Oh yeah. And the very first falafel I ever had was a very, very long time ago. Back in the days when I didn't like tomatoes. So when the guy was making my falafel, he's like, uh, what toppings would you like? And I'm like, lettuce, whatever else. And, and, and he's like, no tomatoes? And I'm like, no. And he's like, well, it's gonna be dry, sir. I'm like, okay, put some more sauce on it then. Because back in the day, I didn't like tomatoes. They're gooey and yucky. But now I love tomatoes, and now I'm eating a falafel uh, the way I guess I'm supposed to eat a falafel. Let me know in the comments below, or check out the poll, and uh, check off all the ingredients that you like, or check off your favorite ingredient for a falafel. If you're wondering what a falafel is, it's basically chickpea meatballs uh, with lots of spices and flavors, and uh, then they... I'm not sure if they fry them or if they deep fry them. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I have never made one myself, but they're supposed to be super good for you because it's meatless. Keep biting. Ooh la la. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that is beautiful. Are you hungry? Well, you're gonna be. This is the first time I've ever put olives on a falafel. I thought I'd try it because they're there and the, the taste of the olive is just bringing this up the, to the next level. The hot sauce, I'm thinking maybe next time I'm gonna go 
maybe maybe less than mild. <laughs> it's it's uh, a little overpowering right now. Maybe I just hit a uh, like a, a, a hot spot. Sometimes when they put the, the stuff on, they, they put a little bit too much on in one spot. So I'll let you know by the end if it was too hot all the way through. I've only ever heard good things about falafels and how, how much more healthier they are than, uh, let's say you had like a meatball wrap or something. Uh, I guess because of the chickpeas and there's no meat and there's no there's probably no um, cholesterol and stuff like that. Uh, again, I don't know how they make the actual falafel itself, except that it's made out of chickpeas. I don't know the spice combination and all that. But if you know how to make a falafel, the actual like meatball or the chick chickpea balls. Ooh la la. Uh, excuse me. That's how good it was. If you know how to make it, Put a recipe in the in the comment section below. That would be fantastic. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to do a 1 o'clock in the morning shout-out bite to all my Mediterranean family and friends who'd love to watch my videos at 1 o'clock in the morning. This bite goes out. I don't know where falafels originally come from, so I'm but I'm pretty sure Middle East, so I'm kind of covering a very large area. So this bite is especially for you guys. Thank you very much. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I just got another flavor punch to the face with a combination of the chickpea, hot sauce, uh, onion, and uh, again, the olives. If you don't put olives on this, it totally changes the flavor and the and, and just the, the experience. So I totally recommend green olives. I'm not a big black olive fan, but I, I guess I wouldn't mind trying it sometime in the near future. All right, guys, as you know, I'm always starving, so I'm gonna polish the rest of this off, and I'll be right back. Hang on. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. For Ken. Did it go in? Yes, it did, but I messed up my own name. Could you believe that? Yes, you could. All right, guys, on my rating scale, hang on. It was that good. It was a little burp, but it was that good. On my rating scale, I'm going to give Osmo's Falafel, with the toppings that I gave it, a go out and get it now. I was going to say... It was like a cross between uh, a would recommend and a go out and get it now because I think I like to change up the toppings a bit and maybe try it without the hot sauce on it because uh, by the time I was finished, the hot sauce was okay, but I found it a little overpowering. So uh, I'm definitely going to be coming back, definitely trying another falafel, and I'm going to go light on the spice or no spice at all. Let me know if you guys like spice on your falafels or not, and uh, maybe... Maybe add a little bit more tomato. Uh, maybe add, I'm not sure what other sauces they have. They had a white cream sauce. Uh, maybe maybe it's a falafel sauce, I don't know. Or there's some other white sauce in there. I think I'd like a couple squirts of that and that would just bring it up to like a go out and get it now flavor from end to end. That's just my opinion. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. All right, guys, if you love these videos and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button. It sits right around here. Click the notification bell. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. Boop. You're going for a ride, people. Going for a ride. Hats on straight, got my little pom-pom, good to go. Always check the lens, people. Oh, and then I moved the camera. Putting on my topping, so hear that. Here. Uh, she was happy enough to be in the video, uh, show, showing me my, you know, my nina, my, my nina, nah, yeah. <coughs> oh no, don't die. Ah, I went in the sleeve. A lot of chewing going on. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? It didn't, did it? Nope. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.